This boy was born in Malawi, one of the poorest African countries in the world. A sad fate was waiting for him. Hunger, poverty, begging and probably hard work on plantations for one dollar a day. But something incredible happened to him. Sixteen years ago, he was adopted by one of the richest and most famous singers in the world, Madonna. He went from the poorest African country to a luxurious mansion in London. How has his life been since then? And what does he look like now? Keep watching to find out. Before we continue make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. If you were born in Malawi, then this is a great misfortune. Because more than two-thirds of the population here lives in extreme poverty. 70% of people live on less than $1.9 a day. Some families in Malawi are so poor that they are forced to abandon their own children and give them to an orphanage. After all, at least they will be fed there. Such was the fate of the little boy David Banda. His mother had died of AIDS soon after his birth, and his three siblings had also all died of AIDS. His father decided to give him to an orphanage. This man was a poor farmer who grew onions and cabbages, but there was so little food that not all family members had enough. In addition, he had a new wife and children. He didn't visit David and would hardly ever be able to take him home. Therefore, the child had been living in an orphanage since he was two weeks old. The first 13 months of his life were spent in difficult conditions. He had survived malaria and tuberculosis, and no one from his extended family had visited him since the time he arrived. Only a miracle helped this boy. Because in 2006, the superstar Madonna saw this 13-month-old baby. At that time the 48-year-old singer was married to film director Guy Ritchie and had two children, Lourdes and Rocco. She is extremely rich and has achieved everything one could ever dream of. Therefore, she has been involved in charity work for a long time. In 2018, Forbes estimated her net worth at $590 million and ranked her number 26 on America's richest self-made women. In 2006, she came to the poor African country of Malawi and founded the charitable organization Raising Malawi. One day she came to an orphanage, home of hope and saw a 13-month-old boy, David. The singer decided to adopt him. It was love at first sight, said Madonna's spokeswoman Liz Rosenberg. And a witness added, the look of pure joy on her face was beyond words, not unlike when her children were born. Madonna knew that the boy had a biological father. She also knew that it was difficult for a foreigner to adopt a child in Malawi due to unclear laws. Experts advised her to adopt a baby, for example, from Kenya or Ethiopia, where the procedures are much easier. But the pop star was charmed with little David and was ready to overcome any obstacles for him. She first met the boy's biological father and asked him all about his life and his attitude to David's adoption. Johan Banda agreed, as he decided that it would be better for the boy. He told the Associated Press, I am the father of David, who has been adopted. I am very very happy because as you can see there is poverty in this village and I know he will be very well looked after in America. It seemed that the problem was solved. And now Madonna will be able to live happily with her adopted son in her luxurious mansion. But everything was not so easy. Malawi's national laws require a foreign adopter to reside in the country for at least 18 months. But Madonna did not do this, which led to a big scandal. The press accused her of using her celebrity status to sweep aside Malawian rules and rush the adoption. After that, Human rights groups in Malawi have threatened court action against the singer and her husband, because of violating local adoption rules. Madonna was afraid of losing David. She frankly said on The Oprah Winfrey Show, I understand that gossip and telling negative stories sells newspapers. But I think for me, I'm disappointed because it discourages other people from doing the same thing. The scandal grew. David's biological father suddenly announced that he was opposed to his son being taken abroad forever. Madonna couldn't believe it. She was sure that these words pulled the mass media out of him, which manipulated him and forced him to say what they needed. They have spun a story that is completely false, said Madonna. Later Banda's biological father admitted that human rights activists were harassing him every day. They wanted him to support their court case. But Johan Banda could not do this because he agreed with Madonna and her husband. Only two years later in 2008 the adoption was finalized. 
That's how little David Banda moved from the poorest African country to a luxurious mansion in London. Since then, his life can be envied. And the reason for this is not only the luxurious lifestyle that he leads, but also a big and happy family. The boy lost his biological mother, but found a new one. When David was four years old he met his biological father in Malawi. Madonna honestly told him who his real father was. But it is unlikely that the boy wanted to return to his homeland, because he already had a new family. Johan did not try to return his son, and even thanked Madonna for saving the boy's life. Madonna, despite being busy at work, always loved and admired her son. One day she wrote on her Instagram, David Banda. I cannot believe you have grown into this young man. This artist. This athlete. This articulate and charismatic human. Who knew when I met you at home of Hope Orphanage in Malawi, drinking coke out of a baby bottle and wearing no diaper that you would become this force of nature? David has grown up very similar to his famous mother. He loves to sing and perform on stage, wear bright and even scandalous outfits. Several times he wore women's dresses. Probably, if this was seen in his native country Malawi, then people would be shocked. But if your mom is Madonna, then you can afford everything. David shocks the audience and is happy about it. But Madonna doesn't mind at all. She posts many of his performances on her Instagram. And she always writes that she is proud of her son. David recently turned 17 years old. However, he still has a great relationship with his adoptive mother. He loves to sing and dance with her. Several times he appeared on the stage with Madonna. In 2015 he attended the Rebel Heart tour where they were seen singing like a prayer. They also walked on the red carpet of the 2014 Grammy Awards. He still often goes to social events with his mother and enjoys talking to the press. But unlikely he wants to be a popular singer. Because he likes playing soccer much more. And he is working hard to make a sports career. Madonna admitted in an interview with Vogue magazine that Banda is more similar to her even than biological children. I feel like he gets me, he has more of my DNA than any of my other children so far, she said. Mom and son really love each other. They often hug and spend time together. This story proves that the real parent is the one who gave love to the child, and not the one who only gave birth. Do you agree with this statement? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time.